Hi, welcome to another episode of Minimal Cast. This is the Increase Your Developer Productivity with TMUX series. Today's episode is another one of these real important episodes. Seems like I'm saying that on every introduction, but this is gonna I'm gonna go over the copy mode or the escape mode in TMUX. So without further ado, let me jump right in and show you why it's so important. Okay, let's first get into open up my uh, comp file for tmux okay it's home directory tmux.conf and let me go down to here okay so in copy mode I have some things turned on I'm just gonna go over a base some basic copy mode stuff uh, I have VI bindings turned on, as you'll notice from if you've seen other parts of the my, the screencast series. I uh, have a user of Vim, so I do a lot of mappings to similar Vim keys. So I have that turned on in copy mode, and let me go over to another window here, the second window. Now to get into copy mode, I do prefix bracket left bracket. Now I'm going to use my K key to go up. I can go, I just use the B key to go back a word. Now I can hit the space key. That's going to get me uh, to a highlighted cursor and I'm going to use the dollar sign to go to end of the line. Now I can use the enter key to copy that. So that's like to a TMUX clipboard. That is not to your system clipboard. Then I can hit prefix right bracket to paste it. Now those movement keys I did, like the K to go up, the B to go back a word, the dollar sign to go to the end of the line, those were of VI bindings. So unless you have VI bindings on, you're not gonna get that. You're just gonna, you're gonna use arrow keys uh, arrow keys to go back, home key will work. Uh, but I just want to clarify that those movements were done because VI bindings were on. Now the space to get into the highlighted cursor and then the enter to save it to the TMUX clipboard, not the system clipboard, that's um, default behavior. Also note that when I paste it in with the prefix right bracket key, you can do that in any um, tmux session. Remember the tmux works with a client server uh, pattern so you can go to any other uh, opened up tmux session and paste into it. Now let's go back to into copy mode. Now another thing to note on the top right hand corner you're going to notice a a deep yellow color that says 0 slash 68. That means you're in copy mode. Now what makes, one of the things that makes copy mode so valuable is that you can scroll a window that's not easily scrollable. So this window here, I can scroll up like I did. I'm hitting the K key now. I can also use some other Vim um, bindings like control U to go up. I can use lowercase gg to go all the way to the top. Now here I am here at the top of the um, my window and so I can if I have a long stack trace or, or whatever it may be I can scroll up and down my window. I can also search uh, down my window. I'm going to hit the slash key now let me type in just active record and there, there we go. It takes me down to the active record part. So it's really amazing here. I can uh, uh, totally grab all of this output to the console. I can search it, scroll it, and copy it. Uh, let me add two. To search backwards, you hit um, the uh, question mark and let me I'm going to search for config backwards and and there we go and to um, let me go back to the 
configuration file, my tmux uh, comp file, and let's take a look at the scroll history. So down here, I have my scroll history set pretty high, 30,000. I recommend that uh, you do the same. Um, uh, don't underestimate how much a, a stack trace or a log file being outputted to the console, XML or some kind of JSON dump can be. Let me go back to here, turn off. Uh, the reason this is highlighted, is I, uh, it's being highlighted when I did that search up, is because I was still in that highlight mode. So that's pretty cool too. So I was searching up uh, to config and all that is going to be highlighted. So I could potentially copy that. And now to get out of copy mode, I'm going to hit control C. Also, if you're reading some of this output on this Rails console, I'm working on a LinkedIn Chrome extension. So this is just some goofy test data there. So uh, please don't mind that. But now how do we copy to the system clipboard? Um, it's nice that we can copy and paste within the TMUX sessions, but you know, we live in an environment on an operating system that we want to, maybe, maybe I want to copy a URL and I want to then go out to uh, Chrome or my browser and put that URL in. Now that's not a TMUX session, so that's not going to work. So let's take, let's take a look at this business of uh, copying to the system clipboard. Now I'm also going to say that the best uh, reference for saving to the system clipboard in OSX is going to be a ThoughtBot article, which I'll link in in the screencast and also the article that'll be forthcoming. But I'll quickly go over it um, in the configuration file here. Uh, there is a, a a thing called in OSX a user namespace. Now in other POSIX compatible operating systems, this is not going to be uh, relevant to them and only OS, OX, OX, excuse me, OSX. So um, there, you do need to install user namespace. And I did that through brew install. And I use bash. So you need this set G default command here. I also have, let's go down to also have now I am using tmux 1.8 now as you're gonna see in the thoughtbot article to use copy pipe you're also gonna need that is a tmux 1.8 feature and what this is doing here I am again doing a vim binding right here so when I um, I'm gonna to go to copy mode now so when I hit V it goes into begin selection mode okay and let's go out of copy mode. And then the, here's the copy pipe command. Then I have one more command. And these are all, I don't know, I should put these together in my configuration file. But then when I hit the Y key, which this is also similar to a Vim binding, uh, Y is to yank um, out of a selection. The You have to run a shell command that does this tmux save buffer. Then it pipes to the reattach user namespace and uses pb copy. Um, which is another OSX uh, command line uh, tool to copy to your system clipboard. So let's see this in, in action, copying to the system clipboard. I'm going to go over to the left pane here, which is tmux. Let me go into copy mode. See in the right side of the pane, uh, I'm now in a copy mode, and that works in a in just in panes also. So it's so it's nice as I do a copy selection. It's just going to be in the pane and not the entire window. So let's take this paragraph. Let me go to the beginning. Hit V to go to the copy selection. And let's get this paragraph. I'm going to uh, click on Y now, which was that last bind key. I just went, went over. All right, now that should be in my system clipboard. Let me go over to, now this is GVim. So this is the GUI version of Vim on OSX. And I'm going to hit my paste command and there it is. So it went to our system clipboard successfully. And one last thing, let me go over something for the Vim user. I, I 
have my um, vimrc open and what what I did actually how I pasted that uh, text in from the clipboard is I have a special leader command that um, I actually uh, got from somewhere else I'm not totally sure on all the commands but I highly recommend you I'll have a link uh, in my article to this to my vimrc where you can grab this but if I do leader PP it goes into paste mode uh, the uh, oh it makes a new line uh, inserts a new line in vim and then this does something with the register and then P is paste I, don't, I forget what these two are for uh, then it, then it exits out into no paste mode so it's just a nice way to it puts like you know two three commands there together so you don't have to do that every time I was constantly repeating myself, going into paste mode, uh, making new line, and pasting from the register. Um, I, I guess this means paste from the system clipboard. That's what it's, it's the register system clipboard or something like that. And then it's going into no paste mode. So I highly recommend uh, this in uh, your VimRC. That's going to do it for another episode in this TMUX series. Now, uh, you may notice from the intro, I'm now in a vest. So I'm finishing up this screencast um, in the morning I started the previous day and it's chilly enough here. This is, I live in the, the hills of New Hampshire and this is early July and some mornings I have to wear a vest. And so I pointed that out. You might think that's interesting if you're some, from some parts of uh, the US, southern US or other parts of the world like uh, India or Philippines that even in July in uh, here in New Hampshire. I live at a high altitude too uh, in New Hampshire so uh, that some mornings I have to wear a vest. Anyway getting back to the content of copy using copy um, the copy mode in Tmux. Uh, I hope you see that this is uh, real fundamental of getting the most out of Tmux. So I hope you enjoyed the episode and stay tuned uh, for more episodes in this series. Thanks for watching.